honey. Brant just got here. Hi, Brant. Lenny. You know, I was telling Brant here. You boys took some really excellent pictures of this old store. Really excellent. Very professional-like. I guess I'm going to have to pay you. Well, Lenny, I've decided to take five of yours. Uh, Two dollars a piece. That's ten dollars. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Wilkins. Brent, I've decided to take three of yours. But I want three more of this one. Me in front of the store? That's a total of six in all, right? Right. And that'll be twelve dollars. And there you are. Thanks, Mr. Wilkins. I'll get this prints to you tomorrow. I'll do them at the 4-H Club right after photography class. Well, that's great. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks, fellas. You did a real good job. Thanks, Mr. Wilkins. Thanks. Lenny, can I see you a moment? Sure, Mr. Wilkins. See you later, Bramp. What's wrong, son? You look a little gloomy. I mean, didn't I pay you enough? That is what we agreed upon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Two dollars a print. Just between you and me, I showed all those prints to Mr. Smith down at the newspaper, and he especially liked yours. He liked mine the best? Yep. He thought you had a great future as a photographer. Mr. Smith said that? That's what he said. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Lenny. Those pictures are going to be great for business. See ya. See you later. I win. When are you going to pay up? You don't win the bet. Mr. Wilkins bought five different shots of mine and only three of yours. The bet was for who sold the most prints. I sold six. But three of your pictures are the same. He only wants them because he's in them. The bet was for who sold the most prints. Well, I'm the better photographer. He bought five different shots of mine and only three of yours. Are you going to pay up or aren't you? There's a good show coming Saturday. I'll pay. But just try and tell me you're a better photographer than I am. Remember who sold the most different shots. Aw, oh, tell me such a sore loser, Lenny. Admit it, I'm better. I sold more. All right, settle down, settle down. I've got some good news for you. Tom Smith, editor of the Herald Citizen, is sponsoring a photography contest. Oh, yeah. The winner gets $25 and a chance to do some work for the newspaper. Oh, yeah. it's a pretty I might just have to win that. Oh, get story. out of here. Look, it doesn't matter if you haven't much experience or if you've been into it for a while, like a Lenny or Brandt. I've got the rules right here. Everyone should read them carefully before going out to shoot, but they're pretty standard stuff. $25. That's all I need for a new camera. It's tough, because I'm going to beat you. Maybe there's a second prize. No, no second prize, only one winner. Mr. Smith yeah, me. <laughs> Can't you see me now? Covering all the high school football games. The competition will be close if you all really get into it. What a jerk. Mr. Smith is using know. judges from out of town. Friends of his from other newspapers. I guess that's to avoid any judge knowing a contestant personally. Notice the theme of the contest. It's a tough one. Animals in action. Well, I'll probably get a roll for animal tail. Then why don't you shoot turtles? Turtles, yeah. No, slugs. Oh, oh gross. <laughs> like I said, read your instructions carefully when you get home. There are a couple of things I want you to look at especially. Like the deadline for the contest is a week from today. That doesn't I've got a great know. idea for animal pictures. Really? What is it? I, I can't tell you. The whole club would follow me out there. I'll take your entries at our club meeting next week. Each picture must be sealed in a manila envelope big enough to fit an 8x10 mounted photo. Needless to say, all work must be your own. What do you think you're going to shoot? I think I'll shoot my cat. She does some pretty weird With things dogs sometimes. in the family, I ought to get something decent. My dog just had puppies. Judges really go for puppies. What are you shooting, Lenny? Well, I can't say it. i got to check out an idea first. Well, you're a good photographer. You'll probably win anyway. Yeah. See you all around. Uh, hey, Lenny, wait up. Gonna enter the contest? Guess so. Gonna ask your uncle for help? I can't do that. Uncle Bert's a professional. You know what the rule said. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you later, Ben. I gotta get going. Where are you going? Somewhere. Some place to take pictures for the contest? Maybe. You mean you got an idea already? Maybe. Hey, wanna make a bet about who's gonna win? All right, sure. But this time it's best. 
Not most. See you around. They're not bad, but they're not great. This is the one. If I can only get a decent print of it. Hey, you're supposed to knock, remember? You could have ruined my prints. Oh, sorry. I didn't know anybody was in here. These your prize winners? No, why don't you clear out, Bram? Let me work. Or is that your prize winner? None of your business. Come on, Lenny, what have you got? None of your business, Brant. Clear out! It must be your best negative, or you wouldn't try to hide it. Let me see. Get out of here, Brant. Let me work! Not till you let me see what I'm up against. Hey, give me that! Just hold it a second. I just want to see what you got. Give me that negative! Now, Lenny... Give me my negative, or I'll break your arm! Ah! Stop it, Lenny! Give me it! I... I want it! Ah! Give me! Ah! Get off of you, idiot! I'm not the negative! My arm! You almost broke my arm! How is it? It's ruined! I'm sorry. I only wanted to look at it. You must have other good shots. You should have tried twisting my arm! He knew what he was doing. Hello? Uncle Bert? Lenny, I'm back here. Hi. Just thought I'd drop by and see what you're doing. Hey. Always glad to see my favorite nephew. How you doing? What's up? Oh, nothing much. I've been taking a lot of animal pictures. Hey, no kidding. Do you know that I'm leaving for Africa on Monday to do a whole series on vanishing animals? Really? Yeah. How long are you going to be gone? I don't know, as long as it takes to get what I need. How long do you think you're going to be gone? Why are you so interested? What do you want to do, take over my shop while I'm gone? No, I just want to know how long it takes to get enough pictures for a story. <laughs> hey, have you ever shot any farm animals? Oh, come on, Lenny, you gotta be kidding. How can I live in a farm town like this and nothing? Hey, you've seen my animal pictures. Not for a while. Do you have any around? Sure, um... Hey, they're right in here, as a matter of fact. Fifteen years' worth of animal pictures in there. It's my animal drawer. Help yourself. I'll come over. I don't think I got time to look at these now. Can I take some home with me? Well, what do you want them for, Lenny? I told you. I haven't taken some picture myself. There's not much in there will help you. Well, there are a few good dog and cat pictures. In Which one of those box? Boxes. This one? Does this have the best shots in it? Yeah, that's the one. Listen, you can take it with you. Oh, great. It's a return when I get back from Africa now. Yeah, I will. And you have a good trip, all right? Okay. Hey, Lenny. Yeah? Listen, when you return those, bring some of your own stuff, okay? I mean, I'd like to see what you're up to. Sure, I will. Bye. Have a good trip. See ya! Okay. This will look 
as good as Uncle Bert's when I get it mounted. Nah, mine'll never win. This should be Brent, and Uncle Bert never know I used it. Strange he isn't here. He was so excited about his entry yesterday, I saw him on his way into the dark room to print it. He might not come. Why not, Brad? Did something happen? What happened? Something might have happened to one of his negatives or something. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Brad. Got your entry in? Yeah. Everybody's is in but yours. I didn't think you'd show up. Not show up? When I have a winning picture? You gotta be kidding. We gotta bet, remember? Self Incorporated was supported by a consortium of 35 educational agencies. This program was produced by NVETA, Northern Virginia Educational Telecommunications, under the supervision of AIT. Agency for Instructional Television.